Of this new series, the four that I really, really wanted was Wanda and Vision and Loki and Sylvie. Now, when purchasing the series, the one I wanted the most was White Vision. However, now having them all, I'm pretty sure that Loki is my favorite in the entire series. Uh, we have a new hair mold. I'm pretty sure that's exclusive to him. I've never seen this hair mold before. I know it's new, that's for sure. But is it brand new? Like, is he the first? It's similar to the new Jerry mold, but not quite the same. So you've got another new hair mold. You've got the variant on the back. All these little details are, are, are minimal, but bring them all together. I mean, he's got the TVA logo on the, uh, you know, the one that looks like, uh, what's his face, his face? Uh, Kang the Conqueror. And TVA on the belt, the printing that continues on the waist. He's even got subtle printing on the legs. And a TVA mug. It doesn't get much better than that. Oh, but wait, it does. Look at this Throg. That is probably the most amazing single independent Lego piece mold that they have ever done. Now in the advertising you see this. But when I opened it up to see that he's got so much detail in the back as well with the cape, with the little hat thingy. I mean, this Throg is absolutely perfect. And this is the kind of spoiler heads up that Lego got. Oh, sweet, we're going to get this awesome, cool spoiler from the show. Not really. It was just a visual gag. He was literally on screen for two seconds, blink and you'll miss it. When I first saw it, I thought it was a tiny Thor. I didn't even realize that it was Throg. So, how funny that he gets two seconds of fame on the show, and now is, as far as I'm concerned, one of the greatest Lego pieces ever made. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to own this little guy.